Now I want to preach on the word obey, which parallels I am perfectly. The great name of God, I am. Who are we to obey? Well, the great I am, God. Gematria equals great I am. But I feel led to preach on the perfect details of how the word obey perfectly, mathematically glorifies the Trinity letter by letter to perfectly uh, match I am, the great title of God, I am. Because it's all about leadership. S everyone is taking orders from someone. There's this hierarchy, okay? But who are we supposed to be taking orders from? God, the great I am. Obey, I am. Obey, I am. Okay, so I'll just explain it to you. Um, the O is six points higher than the I. The BE is six points higher than the A. And then the Y is 12 points higher than the M. Notice that every offset is in multiples of three. Better yet, multiples of sixes, which I've been saying all along through all my study and all the revelations of this, okay. Um, interestingly, in every case, the word obey uh, has the greater value than the letters in I am, okay. But look at all the threes in that whole package. Remember, I am is three letters for the Trinity, okay. Um, but obey has those, the O is six points higher than the I, the BE is six points higher than the A, and then the Y is 12 points higher, double six higher than the M. So all overall, perfectly, obey is exactly 24 points higher than I am. Okay, and that's how it works. It's offsets of threes, ideally offsets of sixes, in my preference, from the name of God that is being declared through whatever word it is, whoever's name it is, whatever sentence or string of letters it is that you are looking at. Okay. Um, obey. Such a huge word. So, um, I could get this on the text on the computer and just get a shot of it. And, um, you know, I don't really need to... Uh, spend a whole lot of time painting this, but it's fun because these things should be done in artwork of gold and silver and precious stones. But now, just so this is on the table and so I can show you a piece of art for this, and it should be done in gold and silver and precious stones and put everywhere, who do we obey? Okay, We obey the great I am, God Almighty. Obey I am. That's the fastest, simplest way. Obey I am. Okay. And now let's actually write out the uh, equation. Um, obey equals, so this is an official scientific equation for you out there, plus 24. Okay. That's it. But the letter for letter, offsets of sixes. Six, six, double six. Okay. And I've been preaching that from the beginning. Okay. So, wow, that was nasty. I <laughs> shot him in there. Um, okay, so I am. Obey, I am. That's it. And of course, we know that obey, or I am, parallels God and G, in Jesus Christ. So, who do you obey? You can say obey Jesus, obey Christ, obey I am, obey God. They all parallel each other. Um,. Wow, this is really cool. If you say obey God, look at that. that that's just as, just as beautiful. Okay, so in obey God, um, the O equals the O, the B E equals the G, and then uh, the Y differs from the D um, by a multiple of 321. Okay. But the I am, I particularly felt led to say I, I am, okay? Um, it lines up perfectly. Obey, I am. Uh, let's just 
Um, now check word. So you can take a look at the word obedient and obedience. Um, oh yeah. Oh, that's good. So now I just I just want to follow up on this. So go go higher now. Obeying adds thirty points perfectly, which makes the famous truth: I am love. Amazing. Obeying. People say, what does obeying God look like? Do the math. Obeying equals I am love. And you can get the two halves of love. Uh, can you? No. Um, yeah, you can. Of course you can. O E G half love B Y half love I N equals I am. Perfect. Obeying equals I am love. The great truth about God. Yeah. And then so obedient equals Jesus. I've preached that before. Amazing. Obedient equals Jesus. This is such a huge truth. And I've had revelations from the Lord about how people's names that parallel Jesus they are the very um, personality of Jesus and they love to submit to someone else. God has been particular ordained many females, males as well, but many females in my life in the past couple of years um, who have the Jesus spirit, the, the spirit of submission, the, um, the desire to serve a man, the desire to submit to someone. Uh, of course, we know that most women do have a desire to be led by a man and provided for by a man, okay, and uh, loved by a man, and to submit to a good, righteous, God-serving, God-submitted, holy man. Uh, so obedient equals Jesus. Um, Jesus was in constant submission to the Father, and he said that I did not come down to do my will, but the will of my Father who sent me. Just huge though, and I've been marveling. God has ordained many girls, many ladies in my life in the past year whose names, like the other day at Safeway, Danica. Okay, the Holy Spirit nudges me. Her name parallels Jesus perfectly. Three plus ones, one plus two, rest letters divide by three. Danica. And I can tell, just by seeing her as much as I have with the Spirit of God, I can tell she loves to help and she loves to serve. And she loves to be submissive. She's just waiting for the right, she, as far as I know, she's not married yet. God has a plan for her life, of course. And, uh, but I can see it all over her. I'm like, if it is God's will that she gets married um, to a, I say, to a physical person, because you can just get married to God. God tells us that. And you can, anyways. Um, but uh, it's amazing. So obedient equals Jesus. You can find, okay, so now i got to find, let's do a study on the word obedient. i got to memorize this. Obedient Jesus. Um, now I want to find, slow down when God's talking to you. Milk it. Stay a while. Obedient is such a loaded word. Father in perfect symmetry. I am at dead center. Wow, I am. The I am at the center of obedience is crazy. Like it's perfect. God is at the, God is in there. Son is in there beautifully too. Triforic on the end. The obedient and then Jesus. Now, what I know I wanted to get is that obedient equals God Son because that was a revelation God gave me one morning. Jesus equals God Son, and so Jesus equals obedient. We'll find the twenty six and the forty eight. Well, the computer's done it for me. There's exactly five unique ways to find 26 and obedient, which are then perfectly complemented by the five unique ways to the rest of the letters left over. So I can show you what I'm looking at here. The word obedient, um, the word obedient equals Jesus. And there's the five ways to find God. Okay. And there's the five ways to find Son. They are mutually uh, exclusive compliments, okay? It's, in fact, it's in order. 
that equals God and that equals Son. Amazing. So, and then you can do it this way. In fact, this, I actually really like this way because it matches what God ordained in Jesus. This is my new favorite word, obedient. Okay. Because the inset letters here, just like the EU in Jesus equals 26, which equals God. And then the trifork left over equals Son, 48. Just like the JSS in Jesus. You see that? It's flawless to match Jesus. Who owns the word obedient? Who, whose name mathematically is declared perfectly by this word obedient? J-E-S-U-S. -S. And it's flawless, okay? The E and the U in Jesus equals God equals this B-E-E-N in obedient. It even has an E and then the B-E-N equals U. And then down here, these, this, these letters equal the J-S-S. The T differs from an S by one. This differs from an okay. Now this is even this word is so cool because it actually says God's Son in order. The first half, perfect half of obedient equals God. No less you have an O and a D and a B E equals G. And then the last half equals Son. No less you get the N. T differs from an S by one, i.e. from the O by one. So obedient in order equals God Son equals Jesus, or you say it this way, God, Son. So that is a huge find for theology. A massive, because obedient equals Jesus. And then I find the other names of God in there, like there's I am, and here's Father at the top, and it's all very gorgeously perfect. And then I always search, and then here's Holy Ghost. Now technically the Holy Ghost is probably obedient to the Father and the Son as well. Jesus said, I will send the Holy Ghost in my name which is amazing. So there's holy and there's ghost and the word obedient. Just pop off an E. This equals Jehovah as well. So um, I'm just checking to see if you can find the 323s in that. I don't know if you can. I am. No, that's fine. And then there's love and obedience in many ways. But the Jesus one is the biggest one of all. That is huge and important to memorize and share with the world so oh that's huge so um, I'm gonna paint this okay equals well we already did it but uh, there's an official painting just I already explained it but Here's the kind of visual perfection that I'm talking about. If you want, just stack these oops on top of each other. And, that's, and there's the oh, what was I? That wasn't what I wanted to do. Wanted to grab the whole name. Okay, there it is. There's the official glory of it. Obedient equals Jesus equals God in blue and Son in white. Amazing. Ordained by heaven. So doesn't doesn't that inspire you to be obedient? <clears throat> okay. And then the word obedience is very similar because the T just gets replaced by a C E, which is an offset of twelve. Okay, threes. So it just keeps the parallelism perfect. So obedience is simply Jesus minus twelve. Done. Remember it's offsets of threes, ideally sixes, twelve is gorgeous. That's huge. Obedient equals Jesus. And in order, obedient equals God's Son. You're just like, okay. Jesus obeyed. The word obey. Flawless for I am. Flawless for Jesus. Obey. Like, that's huge. That's huge, though. Obedient is so perfect for Jesus. Just perfect. Obedient, Jesus, obedient, Jesus, obedient, Jesus. Ooh, I feel led to preach on a story. I'm serious. The story of Winnie the Pooh is a real-life story of a real bear that God ordained 
and uh, Winnie equals Jesus. And uh, God ordained a real life bear. It's a Canadian story. You know Winnie the Pooh. This is hilarious. You'll love this one. But get the real life. There's someone did a real life story book on it. And uh, but Winnie equals Jesus contains triple I am at the front. Jehovah plus five. Um, and um, uh, the the coolest thing about this bear named Winnie, who is Winnie the Pooh, ultimately in the story of God. Um, is that this bear was like the Jesus bear, my brother calls it, where you could take away anything from the bear. You could take away its food. You could take away honey. You could take away anything you want. You could take away anything from this bear and it would still be happy and still love you and still play with people. Like it was the most um, submissive, content animal ever. Uh, and it was like the most favored animal to, at the London Zoo for years. And I encourage you to read the real story on Winnie the Pooh and where Winnie came from and that it was a real bear story. And it, remarkably, the bear was actually a female. And, uh, but it's amazing to me that Jesus equals obedient. And um, the whole concept of submission and willingness. And in particular, as I think about females, that uh, they are made to be submissive and they want to serve a man uh, who is holy and close to God and has their best interests at heart. It's pure pleasure to obey a God-led person. It's just obedient equals Jesus equals God's Son. But just perfect, the design. Okay, I gotta stare at this, folks. Stare at this. Stare at it. And don't let it go. You gotta stare at this. Stare at it. This is holy truth, man. There it is. This is perfect. And it's painting. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. Okay, so, um, what other words can we do off obeying? Obeyeth, the mountain. Obeyeth. I wonder if obeyer would work. That'd be the right. The obeyer, obedient. Servant has a double I am in there. Okay. Well, that's huge. If I upload this video, it looks good. Okay. And then obeyings is probably the highest word I can think of. Submissive, who humbled himself and became obedient, even to the death of the cross. Today is Easter Saturday. How fitting that we've seen this for the first time. Obedient Jesus, God's Son. I mean, we read from the garden, like, Jesus went to the cross because he was obedient. <laughs> There's not many humans I know that want to get nailed to a cross because just they want to. It's like Jesus went to the cross because he was obedient. Um, <sighs> submit equals Father God. So submissive. This. That's powerful. Searching for names of God and submissive, um, particularly curious about uh, Jesus, 
Jesus is on the lots of 74s and submissive. The, the coolest one is on the very end. S S I V E. That's a revelation. Jesus is on the end of the word submissive. This is huge, folks, because everyone looks at Jesus, especially in our modern world where we have this flavor of um, self promotion in our media. In, in the movies and all this stuff and and when and so people kind of and even preachers when they preach in the life of Jesus they choose a lot of these sort of you know the superhero passages it's Easter weekend folks Jesus submitted when he went to the cross he humbled himself and he obeyed like this concept of being submissive and and the pleasure of submitting it's almost lost in our modern world anyways not totally, but look at what I'm looking at. Submissive. My eyes are opened. The word submissive ends in Jesus and five letters of which are flawless for Jesus. So we're going to do a letter-for-letter letter comparison on this because this is so strong that I can't ignore this one. Um, and uh, amazingly, Holy Ghost is beautifully in the word submissive. I believe the Holy Ghost, we read that the Holy Ghost is submissive to the Father. Like Jesus said, I will send the Holy Ghost. That means the Holy Ghost was taking a command from Jesus. You're just like, so I see Holy Ghost in the word submissive. Like holy is at the center of the word submissive. And then ghost just adds the next letter over with the I. Holy Ghost in full parallels submissive. Just pop off any one of the I's. That's the you know, only two ways to get Holy Ghost to name in full. But the Jesus on the end of submissive is too irresistible to ignore uh, without doing this. What I'm going to show you right now. Um, I'll just get this. Uh, whatever. I'll prop this up somehow. And there we go. And what I want to show you is the Jesus on the end of this. Um, okay. Submissive. And, uh, okay, it's flawless. You got three plus ones, one plus two, and the rest of the letters divided by three. But look at the correlations. An S is an S, and there's two S's equal two S's, and E is an E. <laughs> And then this I differs from a U by 12, and this V differs from a J by 12 in the opposite direction. So the IV equals JU, and the rest of the letters are perfectly equal. Okay, so who was submissive? Jesus was. <laughs> submissive to who? The Father. Isn't that amazing? So, submit. Um, I mean, now, now there's people wearing these brands of, of hoodie that just say obey on it. Well, that's, okay, so we did. We took a look at the word obey. I am. There's there's an I am in the word submit. It's sub, U B I am. And uh, so yeah, there's an obvious the I am in that T M U B. And, ooh, that just reminded me of thumb. Thumb is there for a beautiful um, I am in your thumb. Mm -hmm. U B I am T A T M, and then you have two thumbs. Pluralize that, and now it perfectly parallels the I am. Hands equals double I am, but that was cool finding it in thumb. And the finger contains uh, the word finger is very obvious. It uh, has a double. I am, I N, I am, E R, I am, finger, and then say fingers. Now you get that G S God in there, and it just keeps building for the I am, your fingers, your hands. I am, I am, I am. Cool. Obey. Submit. I mean, the word humble is the word. What is the word? What does the word humble and the word submit have in common? Well, they both contain a U B, which equals I am. Humble yourself, submit. Aha. 
they both contain the I am. The word humble begins with 56, the I am. Very obvious to in a perfect balance. The you, very beautiful, the the, 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 the I am in humble. Okay. Um, so perfect. The UB equals I am, and then the HML equals um, the 33. And that's exact, the exact same phenomenon that we see in the word submit. You say, submit to God, or humble yourself before God. When you humble yourself before someone, you're saying, I submit to you. I submit that you are right. I am wrong. I submit that you know more. I know less. I submit to the fact that you are correct. I am not. I submit to the fact that you have greater wisdom on this point than I do. But look at the I am in that. Look at the beauty. But in particular, it's about obedience because, you know, you can know just as much as someone but still be submitted to them. So, uh, the I am right there in humble and the I am, same letters, or same math in submit. Okay, so we see the puzzle coming together there. Hmm. And then serve contains the ER. I am. Follow is my favorite.